allowing users to maintain some of their attributes is not complicated from a thin perspective, but usually involves long discussions around processes and policies within organizations. The company has realized that high data quality of some attributes are best obtained if the users manage these themselves. The first attribute they have decided to configure for self-service is the mobile phone. First, we need to decide if this is valid for all users or only some users. At the company, they decided that this should be enabled for all users. That means they can use the built-in set all people for this. However, if we look at that set, we see that the definition is a bit wrong because the definition all users, the company intended, does not include service accounts and other user objects. The company needs to create a set that holds the user objects matching the intention of the policy. Let's create a set company all users. Defining a company user as someone being either an employee or contract. We now have a decent set. We can use in the MPR allowing the self service of the mobile phone attribute. Then we create the MPR allowing company users to update the mobile phone attribute of their own. Using the relative to resource ID is the same as saying themselves. When a user now looks at his profile in the theme portal, he will see that the mobile phone attribute is writable, not only readable. Finalized this setting, you would likely also add these attributes to this synchronization flow to allow the value to be visible in AD or your exchange address book. Allowing users to manage attributes of their own, or allowing managers to update some attributes of their direct reports, is often a good way to achieve high data quality within FIM. In the next part, we will look at allowing help desk to manage the users using the FIM portal.